I'll tell you a story. I was on TV a year and a half, Nika, on Channel 15, seven days a week. Phone wasn't ringing. Nobody was calling me. I'm asking people, would you like to give a donation? I'm like the TV preachers. You know, give a donation, help us out. I'm showing videos. Excuse me, I remember one episode I did. The whole episode was videos of people that I've interviewed. Because I interview everybody who said that my CDs has helped them. Mm -hmm. The whole show was like this. And I'm trying to show them, look, I'm helping people. I'm changing the world. Phone wouldn't ring. So I'm at a TV station one day and I'm asking this guy. I was like, bro, what can I do? And he was like, JJ, he said, I ain't gonna lie. He said, I think you have enough passion that's going to get you where you're trying to go. And what I said to him, I said, bro, I don't want to live off passion alone. I said, I can't function off passion. I need knowledge. Right. And when I said that, he said, you know what? He said, I got somebody. And he pulled up this guy on his phone whose name was Phil Cook. He said, look at this guy. He said, this guy, he's a consultant to Christian television ministries around the world. He said he consulted Joe Osteen. He consulted Joseph Prince. And I'm looking, I'm like, this guy? Guess what the name of, he had two books on Amazon. Guess, let me tell you the name of both of the books. Number one was How to Have a Successful Christian Television Ministry. Hmm. I'm like, damn, you don't get no kid yeah. in that. The second book was called Creative Christian Media. I brought both of them. I read both of them. I read, I went off of TV for like seven months. I read the books. Went back on TV after I read the books, phone wouldn't stop ringing. I made more in one episode than I did in a whole year. Because since then I was operating off my own brain. Mm -hmm. And what I learned from Phil Cook, well, the number one thing I learned from Phil Cook, that it don't matter how anointed your message is, if your, if your creativity... You 